What happens when people stop trusting vaccines? We're seeing the answers right now. 370 cases of measles, two deaths, more than 40 hospitalizations, and this outbreak is still growing. My name is Dr. Peter Hotez, and I'm a Baker Institute Fellow for the Center for Health Policy, as well as a pediatrician and a vaccine expert. Measles was nearly eliminated in the U.S., but widespread misinformation has fueled vaccine hesitancy. Now, declining childhood vaccination rates have left communities vulnerable, not just to measles, but potentially to other dangerous diseases, like whooping cough or polio. Measles just isn't a rash. It's one of the most contagious viruses we know about. More than the flu or COVID-19, it can linger in the air for hours, and up to 9 in 10 unvaccinated people who are exposed will get infected. Complications can be severe, including pneumonia, brain inflammation, lifelong disabilities, or, or even death. The best way to stay safe and to protect your community it's to get vaccinated. The MMR vaccine, the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine is 97% effective and lasts a lifetime. One in five kids with measles ends up in the hospital, but this is preventable. Vaccines are one of the most safest and effective public health tools that we have. We need to separate fact from fiction and ensure strong science-driven policies to keep our community safe. So stay informed, trust the facts, get vaccinated, and help stop the spread of misinformation.